Hello, Five Fans, Seattle Mike, MMA with Friends, here with the UFC 256 uh, post-fight conference, and let's go through uh, the entire card and then talk about the bonuses, what Dana had to say about what comes next. Uh, Chase Hooper in the first fight against Peter Barrett came in uh, a large favorite, but Peter Barrett was largely winning the fight. Uh, on the feet until Chase Hooper pulled off an uh, Imanari roll and got Peter Barrett to the ground and submitted him with a heel hook. This is the first fight that Chase Hooper will be able to have a drink after that fight as uh, he just turned 21 years old. So cheers to him. Uh, Tisha Torres taking on Sam Hughes on Sam Hughes on short notice of Everett Washington uh, after Angela Hill had the Tony Khabib virus. Uh, Tisha Torres takes care of business quickly. Uh, Sam Hughes had a jacked up eye and was unable to fight after the first round. Gavin Tucker pulls off the upset against Billy Carantino, uh easily winning every round. Unanimous decision. Rafael uh, Fazeev was in a battle with Renato Macano. Uh They were back and forth. Both guys uh, landing big shots uh, until Fiziev landed the biggest shot and shut the lights off. Man, this guy's striking is sharp. Cub Swanson against Daniel Pineda. That was back and forth until Cub Swanson hurt Pineda at the end of the first round. Looked like he might finish it. Hurt him again at this in the second and knocked him out in minute 53 of the second round. He will not be of the 60 fighters. Dana White talked about cutting. Junior Dos Santos, however, may after Cyril Gain knocked him out. Uh, a reporter asked Dana White, said that Junior Dos Santos, he's lost his last four. Is it time to have the conversation whether this guy should keep fighting? And he said, yes, it's time to have that conversation. Uh, and I imagine that conversation is also going to come for Jacare Souza, 41 years old. Uh, it was a scary, scary knockout. Kevin Holland knocked him out on the ground. Souza was not able uh, to stand up straight uh, for quite some time. Kevin Holland getting his fifth victory of the year. Five wins in just seven months. Uh, Mackenzie Dern and Verna Jandaroba. Uh, this fight was right there for fight of the night up until the last couple fights of the night. Uh, Mackenzie Dern winning an unanimous decision, even though uh, that was... A bit of surprise for a lot of people that thought Verna maybe won it, or at least were thinking it would probably be a split decision. Uh, Mackenzie Dern got a vital takedown, though. Towards the end, uh, it was actually Verna pulling guard, and Mackenzie just kind of fell on her. And that might have influenced the judges. Tony Ferguson, Charles Oliveira. Uh, Charles Oliveira came out beating Tony Ferguson in every facet in the first round. Got him an arm bar towards the end of the round where Tony Ferguson's arm was hyperextended back as far as it can go. It was obvious his arm was broken. Uh, there was probably ligament tearing. Uh, and Tony Ferguson, tough as he is, uh, didn't tap. Decided to wait for the time to run out and fought the next two rounds with a broken arm. Charles Oliveira Wins an easy, unanimous decision, though. And Brandon Moreno and Davison Figueredo in what could be the fight of the year. Dana White, Joe Rogan, and myself all called it the greatest featherweight uh, fight of all time. Uh, Davison Figueredo winning on one card by a point, and it was a majority draw. Two cards had it. A draw, Davis and Figueredo lost the point after a low blow, which was the third foul of the night. Uh, but Davison retained his title. Dana White talked about a rematch with that. He says, we're going to look to definitely book that in 2021. 
So bonuses easily Davis and Figueredo and Brandon Moreno. That's a no-brainer for fight of the night. Performance bonuses are going to be Kevin Holland uh, for that scary, scary knockout against Jacare Souza. Uh, and then the other bonus is going to be Rafael Faziv knocking out Hanato Macano in the first round. Guys, it was a great card. We have a great card coming again next week. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know if you agree with the bonuses uh, or if not and what fights you enjoyed the most tonight. As always, I love you. I respect you. And I'll see your finances later.